Ao, back at it again with another video. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. So today is October the eighth at about ten o'clock at night. So recording this at the end of the day on October the eighth, and this will probably go up uh, either late tonight or tomorrow October the 9th so this is the map as of right now for the presidential election the blue states and the red states so we're looking roughly a tie it's 226 219 but basically for all intents and purposes it's a tie so latest polls there are different polls coming out of the presidential race senate race um, but we're focused on the presidential race and we're focused on seven states, Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. So we'll start in Nevada and we'll work our way from west to east. Who's ahead in the national polls? Um, Harris, two and a half percentage lead. Maybe as high as three, but roughly two and a half percentage point lead for her. So we're going to go to Nevada. So it's about Harris plus half a percentage point, maybe up to a percentage point. So Nevada is lean blue, still pretty toss up. Um, but Harris is in the lead at the moment by about anywhere from half a percentage point up to a full percentage point. All right, let's go to Arizona. Trump is up by about percentage point, maybe a percentage and a half. So for a while there, it was even. Trump up by a little bit. But as of right now, Trump's up by about point, point and a half. So that would put us at about 232, 230. Let's go to Georgia and North Carolina. Next, so Georgia, Trump by one. Um, for a while there, it was close. Trump has been kind of gaining momentum in the state, up to about a percentage point lead for Trump. Uh, 232-246. All right, we're going to go to North Carolina. Trump by about half a percentage point up to a full percentage point. So North Carolina is toss up, but lean towards Trump. All right, let's go to Wisconsin. Harris is up by about a percentage and a half. For a while there, she was up by about two, maybe three percentage points. Um, Trump's getting a little bit of momentum, but Harris is still up by about a percentage and a half. So, Wisconsin for Harris. Let's go to Michigan. So, Michigan is Harris plus point and a half. We're looking at roughly a percentage and a half, maybe as high as two percentage points. But as of right now, it's about a percentage and a half. And basically, this election comes down to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is the 2024 election. Whoever wins Pennsylvania wins the election. It's just that simple. Basically a tie in the state, but Harris is winning by roughly a half a percentage point. So that's roughly the map as of right now. So again, recording this with the current information as of 10 o'clock in the evening, the 8th of October. And this will probably go up either really late tonight or up tomorrow, the 9th of October. So as of right now, this is the map, 276 Democrats. Electoral college votes, 
262 Republican Electoral College votes. So, absolute best case scenario for Democrats. If, you know, hold on to the upper Rust Belt, Nevada, maybe flip a Sun Belt state. Absolute best case scenario for Republicans. Run the table in the Sun Belt. Maybe pick up with Nevada and make some headway in Pennsylvania. But that's kind of the gist as of right now. So it's basically even in Pennsylvania. Nevada by one. North Carolina by one. I don't know why Florida and Minnesota are considered battleground states. I don't know why Texas is either. But that's, I don't know. Anyways, I think it's going to come down to seven states, but ultimately it's going to come down to just one state. That one state, well, Technically, it's a commonwealth, but the commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And as of right now, Harris is just barely in the lead. So, whoever wins Pennsylvania wins the presidency. It's just that simple. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Deuces.